Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a vehicle made by Fiat Chrysler Corporation such as Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler guys, Fiat and you have guys any of the following codes. Okay, the codes I'm talking about are there in the corner guys. Each of the codes guys will explain what it means and uh, what, what can cause that, uh, that code guys. Now, we'll demonstrate on the driver's side. Okay, this one will be related to for driver's side but the passenger side everything will be identical but the codes will be different and we'll share those as well. Uh, if you have guys problems with your seat belt, okay, back or pretension or the seat belt itself, we'll explain guys what are those codes and what to expect. Quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 videos guys. So please guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, we do all that guys because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. And if you need to buy any of the tools that we use, scanners, replacement parts, tools, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can save quite a bit of money guys. So now guys. Let us show you, okay, what I'm talking about. All these codes, guys, relate to seat belts. And this is the scanner that we'll be using. I'm going to explain about that one in just a little bit. Super good too, guys. Okay, it works on any car, not just Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, or Fiat, Alfa Romeo, or one of vehicles. It works pretty much on everything. So plug it into your OBD connector. Okay, just like that. Next, we'll have the ignition switch turned on. So, without starting the car. Okay, let me find the key because the key moved somewhere. So, I can, I can go ahead and turn the ignition on. Okay, so we have the ignition on. You can see ignition on accessory on. Now, the computer guys right here, I'm going to demonstrate for two of the codes and the other ones will be triggered by the same thing. Some will be on the passenger, some on the driver's side. So, make sure you stay with, with us until the end and I'm going to explain all that. So, check it out now, right here. Okay, those are all the different makes and models that it supports, so definitely, guys, a great, great tool. All you can do, just click how to detect. It's going to detect the car on its own. It even has the airbag light being on here, guys, and eventually, sooner or later, okay, it's going to pop a warning message. We click this is the correct VIN number. It's going to decode it, give us which vehicle we have. Okay, that's the vehicle right there. Establishing communication diagnostics. Let's click control unit. You can check each of the computers in your car guys You can clear codes read codes and see live data. We'll click airbag module Read codes and I want to show you two of them guys right here. They say active codes B008013 B007 E13 Driver seat belt, okay, check it out. Driver seat belt, load limiter, deployment control circuit open, driver seat belt, buckle pretensioner circuit open as well. So we'll go ahead, turn the car off. Next step, guys, every time you work on seat belts, airbags, you have to turn and uh, disconnect your car battery off for at least one hour so you can minimize the opportunity for something terrible to happen. Airbags can explode and kill you guys. There is still a chance for that to happen even if you have the car battery disconnected for one hour. So don't do it guys if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags and seat belts. Consider this entertaining video and other how-to video. We'll go ahead, disconnect the car battery and we'll continue guys. So the codes guys for the driver's side, okay, we're on the driver's side seat belt now right here on this Dodge. Okay, this is the driver's side seat belt. It has guys two connectors, okay, that actually activate the deployment of the airbag, of the seat belt, which is part of the airbag system. They need to be reconnected, guys. If you have a loose wire, broken wire, corroded, or a belt that was deployed, okay, you will get any of these codes, guys. Because one of them, it could be, okay, uh, it could be because uh, the, okay, let, let's just pull it down a little bit, okay, like that, so I can show you. Uh, here, okay, what is what is happening? I'm trying to do my best here. Now, you have guys, okay, the connectors right here. If you can see that red thing, if you don't insert it all the way, you will get a code as well, guys. So when you push the connector in and it's all the way in, push that red thing. Otherwise, you will get a code again, guys. So I will go ahead, install the, each of the connectors now. Uh, we'll have a video on the channel that explains how to test seat belts as well. So check it out, guys and push the red thing. Okay, same thing on this side here. Now, those will be the codes for the driver side. The passenger side, if you have the codes, guys, they will be related to your seat belt as well. We have a video on the channel how to remove and replace seat belt. Check it out. 
on multiple vehicles. If you want to see this one, many of them will be very close procedure. Check it for Dodge Dart seat belt replacement, guys. We'll have the video on the channel. Same thing will be for the passenger side and the code that says passenger side will relate to that part, but being on the passenger side. So check connectors, check wiring harness, check that the seat belt is not, uh, it's not in, uh, in an accident. So hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Uh, we'll go ahead, reconnect everything, reconnect the car battery and we'll see if that takes care of the problem now. Car battery has been reconnected guys, I'll go ahead, turn the ignition back on. Okay, perfect. And now I want to see if those codes will go away. Okay, let me just reposition this thing somewhere here. We'll go ahead, click read codes now. Okay, pending now, which means that they're probably not there anymore, we will delete them. Perfect, and now what is happening? Let's read the codes. What do we have guys here? No fault codes detected and airbag light is not on at all. So that definitely took care of our problem guys. Check connectors, check seat belts. It could be a bad seat belt as well. We'll have a video on the channel how to test it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos guys. And see you guys next time.